Okay, so this week we vented on misguided moments. You know, the stuff that gets done with good intentions but goes horribly, horribly wrong. And I was actually kind of surprised to see how much slack people will cut people they think are misguided. Like somebody said they thought George W. Bush was the most misguided person in history. Really? Because, yeah, maybe he started out with good intentions, but when your misguidedness crosses the line to, I don't know, war crimes, does that still make you misguided? Because, call me crazy, but I think that makes you a criminal. For me, a good example of misguided are the TV talking heads who theorize that the perfect storm formed to create the economic mess that we're in. They're kidding, right? The perfect storm? I mean, first of all, not all of us are familiar with the terms of the Fisher person or read the book or saw the movie. Secondly, it's one thing to call something perfect that Mother Nature does that ends up in a big mess. It's another thing to call a bunch of greedy-ass bastards screwing the little guy, culminating in this economic morass in which we're in. A perfect anything. In that case, a perfect storm becomes a perfect oxymoron. Kind of like Fox News. Having said that, I think on a large scale, the most misguided anything that's gone on or goes on since they started writing stuff down has to be war in the name of religion. Because don't a lot of religions subscribe to the old do unto others rule, making then killing in the name of religion completely cuckoo bing bong? Hey, you, be my religion, or else I'm going to shoot your face off. Really? Okay, cool, but if we're playing by your religion then, I get to shoot your face off first, right? See? Totally, completely, utterly, and brutally misguided. And all of that was because I said so. A portion of the vent is brought to you by Restlane. A portion of the vent is brought to you by the Toronto Marriott Bloor Yorkville. Some of the uber cool furnishings on the vent were supplied by LA Design, located in Toronto's West End. Hey you, thanks for watching the vent. But why just watch when you can be a part of the vent online and on TV? Go to www.getoutthevent.com and send us your web vents, what the Fs, or maybe even a trailer park. That's it, vent your face off at www.getoutthevent.com. See the vent, be the vent. Sweet. Bye.